All right, Josh, I'm sending you the rest of the stuff oh, now. Let me, let me cut this. Let me cut this. I'm waiting oh. to hear that. Sakari so might be at work is why I didn't get that footage from her yet. I'll try to send oh, it to right. you ASAP. Okay, KK, episode uh, 57. It feels um, like it, right? <laughs> Fish. Fish and ting. <laughs> <laughs>
The pandemic is happening. My brother and my sister are both in the healthcare field. And of course, our safety is gonna be first and foremost. The great thing is that in the healthcare field, they're being tested twice a week. So they were able to be tested for COVID, got negative results, quarantined, then carefully got on a plane, came over to see us, went and showered, of course. Cause before the hugs and kisses was happening, y'all was gonna shower. So I'm waiting for Tristan and Sakara to come downstairs so we can get to starting. And low key, I wanna be able to see if we can do this on our own. Because I know in my mind, I follow the steps over the years because I've helped make this fish for years. So in Caribbean communities, having fish on the menu is a staple. It's a must have. I don't care if it's a barbecue, a wedding, a funeral, whatever it is, whatever the lime, as we like to call it. A lime is just a, a get together, if you will. We gotta have some fish. So on the menu today is my dad's famous, and I say famous because he's famous in Brooklyn, in the Brooklyn streets for this, his famous veggie stuffed roasted fish on the grill. Because we're looking for something filling yet healthy-ish to eat. We're all together. It's a smooth 90 degrees outside and we gonna eat. All right, so I'm setting everything up now for us to make the roast fish. My dad keeps hovering. So the funniest part about this whole thing is that my dad normally likes to take over because I get it, this is his specialty. But he's having a really hard time not being overbearing and letting us do the fish this time. I'm like, dad, sit down and relax, bro. Let us do the work. Oh, I can start cutting this up. Oh, I can stop. Oh, let me, and I'm like, no dad, we got a plan. You sit down and relax your pretty little head, okay? We got it under control. Oh, hey, look who's here. Hey, what's up, what's up? It's Uncle Driss. Sakari might have fell asleep after one, two minutes. Oh, oh, <laughs> nice of you to join the party. I was just saying how you were like not here. So, um, so yeah, we're doing roast fish today. It's Dad's recipe is a staple in our household for sure. So one thing with us Islanders, I don't know if I speak for all of us, but in my family, whenever we're making food, it's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I mean, I remember being mid recipes or mid cooking dinner and calling my grandmother and being like, how much of this? And she'll be like, oh, just a little dash of that. So. When you're trying to replicate this recipe, just know that you have to have a couple staple items, okay? Whole red snapper for sure. The foil paper to wrap it in. You need some butter. Any kind of greens that you like will do. Typically we use kalaloo back in the islands, but since I didn't have access to kalaloo, we use spinach, bok choy, some thyme, a little onion, a little garlic. What else can you pop in there? Okra, like I said, is not my favorite, but it works for the dish and experiment with it because that's exactly what cooking is, right? Yes, so surprisingly, because there's a lot of things that we can't found, find out here in California, but luckily we came pretty close. The only thing we're missing really is the kalaloo. But as a substitute now, we have some bok choy, we have scallion, or is that green onion people call it? Yeah, same thing. Okra, yeah. we got some uh, green pepper, we got the spinach. Baby spinach. You know? And, and then we have some seasoning. seasoning here. So let's take a look at the seasoning. Garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper. Household seasoning. Yeah. Oh, that's it's a, yeah. Cool. Adobo's in everybody's house. So while Tristan is chopping up some garlic that has to get all minced up and whatnot. As the, as the best chef in the family, I mean, I should, you know? No? That's a self proclaimed I don't know. No, I thought that was known. Mm. Known that you're the best chef See, in the I family? Thought, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a. Uh, so, as you're missing the garlic, Sakari's gonna now massage and season the fish over there. Whoa, hold up. I'm the master at massaging the fish. <laughs> uh, bruh, I did not need that visual. Ew! <laughs> well, I'm not gonna argue you on that. Uh, I ain't gone too uh, far uh, down sorry, the sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Uh, but right. that is true though. Back in the day when my grandmother was teaching Tristan and I to cook, and I say Tristan and I because this is before Sakari came along, 
That was the part. Before I came along. Yeah, it's all right. We're gonna, catch, we're gonna catch you up to speed. Don't feel no kind of way. She feels away. She feels away. It's all right though. It's all right. We're making new memories together, like now. But back in the day, my grandmother used to pull the uh, hasak. I don't know what it's called a in like, stool. like a stool, yeah. yes. But we know it as a hasak, so it's like a stool. She would pull it up to the sink and she would show Tristan and I how to season meat. Okay, you were never there for these Pause. I was there before you were even there. Okay, but you never, you never were in the kitchen when I was in the kitchen. Like, it was me and the grandma thing. Right, but then it was me and grandma as well. But I'm saying both no, of us had the experience separately. Not Do we have man. to call you grandma? Used, you used to play with I'm a phone grandma. Used to play with I did, baby. I did. But how you think I, I learned how to cook too? It was from grandma. But you still learn. Trust me, see me. Let me just get back to cooking. <laughs> how did I try to diss me in my own house? <laughs> anyway, the highlight of Tristan's yeah. lesson was him being able to now rub the meat yes. and massage the meat. Pause. Gold, oxtail, <laughs> chicken. Whatever it was. My mom would call me from whatever I was doing. Right. He would be outside playing. Yeah. He'd go wash his hands. That was more fun. Than pull playing. up the hasak and then go and just like rub <laughs> and massage <laughs> it and massage it. And that was like his favorite part. Yep. All right. So here we go. You take a little bit of season. You go from head mm -hmm. all the way to, down to the body. To the bottom, to the tail. Mm -hmm. Head to toe. So it looks like so. I don't there know you go. There oh, you go. We didn't do a slit in the fish. Oh yeah, We're that's very knife. important now too. You okay. want another knife? Okay. All right, cool. So it's important to also put a little slit in the side of the fish as well too. That way the seasoning can soak up into it and thing, right? Good. So just slit one side. You know how to do it. There you go. There you so go. On the and, then you like that. and then you season this. And then you drop some more seasoning in there. Pow! There we go. So everything is going into this bowl of spinach right here, guys. You know? A quick little one, two for y'all. I think by now, it's pretty clear to see that DeVal is an honorary Jamaican. Hey, watch it, watch it. Hey, you're ready, get ready. E, hey! What is what? Oh, liar. Like seriously, if I pull out his birth certificate, it might say that his birth country is Jamaica. Or as we say in the islands, his birth, surf ticket. So in addition to all the dancing, he's definitely loving to eat all the food. And then he just passes out. Hey, what happened to you? You pregnant or something? Why you been sleeping all day like this? You're not gonna come home and help us make this fish? Grill master. He don't be wanting nobody to touch his grill, but here he is asleep. You gonna at least wash the dishes, Deval? No? Didn't think so. All right, so we're underway, folks. You see? There goes Dad again. Peeking. Hey, what's up, Dad? He ain't trying to pass the torch. What's up, Dad? Alright. Y'all can't help he can't help he can't himself. Help he he help wanted it. to say something so bad, guy. Oh, He's so God. bad. This so your dad. <laughs> so involved in the fish making. But yeah, back to who the better chef is in the family. How about we ask Deval? Oh. Deval is asleep, oh. apparently. All right. And Deval's married to me, so he better know the right thing to say. So as much as I'd like to say that I'm the best cook in the family, I ain't. And you know why? That's DeVal's fault. Yes, it's DeVal's fault. Because he will eat the same thing over and over again. So I haven't been able to really exercise my chef skills, if you will. But after this pandemic, sis is going to be a whole pastry chef. No cap. So you know, and Tristan is cutting up the okra into what would you say, half inch? Like a quarter inch. Quarter inch. Yeah, that's okay. about a quarter inch slice. About yeah. a quarter inch slice. 
Are you really a fan of okra? Because I'm not. I like the okra. I like okra. I like it Especially in this dish, in this dish yeah. Like See, that's the thing. By itself. Agreed, I agreed. I would have like steamed okra just on its Right, or like fried, I've heard of fried okra. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. Well, if it's fried, it's probably I, not I was going to say, it might, might be a slimy. So All right, if good. anybody know about fried okra, let me know. But in the meantime, yeah, yeah it's going to go right into the fish. Like we said, we would normally substitute Kalaloo. And thyme. There's also thyme going in. Thyme is important, actually. We have onion, garlic. Fresh bonnet we don't have. Scotch, we have yeah. habanero. Oh yes, we have habanero right there in the uh, jar. So all that's gonna go into the filling. So the fish essentially is gonna be stuffed with this goodness here. Right, so we've mixed up everything we put in here. I've also added greens. some hot pepper and stuff. Cool. Um, I also put the rest of the seasoning that we made, the mix up seasoning. So it was garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, adobo. Mm -hmm. That was it. That was it. So nice. I put the rest of it and I kind of just mixed Simple. it all together. There we are. That's what it looks like. Bam. You ready for the butter? And I'm ready for the butter. Ready which is my favorite butter. part. This is the favorite part, guys. This is like our, the secret recipe. Calls for. Oh, you don't want me to do the traditional? This is the dad way. So normally yes. my dad will just put his whole hand yes. into the butter and scoop it out. Slap and a, it. And a slap. <laughs> <laughs> the downside to that is a couple days later, weeks yes. later, we're still eating green yes. seasoning I and would, all that um, in the butter. I have a bagel and toast the bagel and I'll take butter and put it on and I'm tasting black pepper and garlic powder. <laughs> <laughs> from the residue like, from on, his thanks. hand. So we're gonna use a spoon. It's yeah. a hefty amount, so don't be alarmed, but it's gonna be dispersed. Oh, also take your butter out it. a little beforehand. It'll make it a little soft and easier it up, yeah. to oh, yeah. True. incorporate. Want. Listen, if you don't wanna use butter and wanna make it more healthy, you can olive oil, you'll be all right. Right, or, right, right, right. But we going all in, we you know? Flavor. We're going for the flavor. We don't we do this very tea. often. <laughs> <laughs> you know, comfort food, it's yeah. all good. Okay. Give a peeper. Give a peeper. Oh. Watch your tongue. Good. What do you think, Dad? It looks good. Okay. Yep. All right, good. <laughs> so the fish stuffing is underway. Well underway. And I'm excited because low-key, these fish look more healthy. And it tastes even better. That we're used to because we like a lot of stuffing in our fish. We like to make sure our fish are nice. Good job. And full. Good you job. Know? So depending on, are you, are we proud? Sorry, I'm proud of her a little bit. Just, just, just I never gives me compliments, guys. That's <laughs> true, because you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. He didn't deny it. Tristan's a tough critic, you know? Tough critic. He, he keeps us on our toes. How would she get better? How would she get right, better if you right. tell her it's good, exactly. but it's not? So the Jamaican way of doing it is you put water crackers in the fish. You so put what? Water crackers. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> no idea what that is. My bad. Uh, yeah, so it's not water crackers on the bag, it's water crackers, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And normally you would take like three of them, you'd put them down in your foil paper ahead of time, and then put the fish on top. Or some put people put the too. fish on top. Or you can put, put it in the fish too. Or in the yeah. fish, yeah, it depends. There's different ways to put it down. Typically, if you put it down at the bottom, it has a better chance of burning if it goes on the grill. So I kind of like my crackers tucked in there where it gets a little bit wet and soggy, but there may be a little exposure for crunch. You know, I like afterwards and then sop up the juice that's in there, so you just use it as a sopper. True. So yeah. Kyle, what she eats is an experience. Yeah. So I, yeah. I understand where she's coming from. It's part of her experience. It's true. It's true. If, it, if yeah. not, then what do you mean we eat before? True. So we're almost there, folks. You see, we have all of our fish laid out. They're stuffed, ready to go. The only last thing that you want to do is put a little tip of water inside, well, on top of the fish, yeah. inside of it. You want it to steam. Yeah. Cook so, all the vegetables mm -hmm. and stuff. So you need a little moisture. So a little moisture. Of course, you have the butter, but you need a little bit of water in there. I guess what we could have technically done too is left a little water residue after we wash the spinach and the bok choy and stuff like that. Would that work? And then mix it into the butter or is it better to put it separately? Uh, in no, because then it makes it more loose and it won't stuff in the fish properly. It just kind of... It'll just kind of be slimy, especially with the See, okra. we can tell who's the right, who's the chefs in the family. Who's Max? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So stuffing this, um, <laughs> I mean, wrapping this is not my forte. So Tristan, I need kind of like a...
So here we are. We got the grill outside, preheated. So by the time we're ready to put it on, you're gonna say what kind of fire? Or if you do it in the oven, how do you do it? 350 in the oven and on the grill, I'll do a medium heat. Because honestly, the grill, we're treating it like an oven. Honestly. Yeah, you are. So, That's true, so yeah. You're not looking for grill marks and stuff on the foil. Right. It don't make sense. Right. So yeah. That part. Kaz, do you want fish? Fire is not too high. It's like a medium, a medium heat. You don't want it to burn on the bottom, so. That's right. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so how long we doing this for? Uh, we're doing this for 15 minutes on one side, 15 minutes on the other side. It should be good to go. But there's a trick. You open it up and check one of them. Mm -hmm. That one is good. Then, right. Yeah. The good thing is most of those fish were all the same size, yeah. more or less, so. so but we just stuffed them a lot, so it may take a little bit longer. That's true. So we'll Especially the bok choy, the okra, we want all that Yeah, you cook. want all that to be soft. Right, exactly. Peep your boy, though. What do you think, Dad? I see that. I see you, that. you think we good? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> all right, you're going to be the taste tester, though. So let us know. All right, let's check all these right. bad boys. Let's check it out. It's been about, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. I can see some of the juice. Little bubble in yeah, there. Sakari probably wrapped that. Right? That was definitely the one Sakari wrapped. <laughs> oh, this is the one with the Wata Crackers. Wata Crackers. See, they know. Get in there. All right, y'all. Let's check. Oh, yeah. We're you flaking see? up. We're flaking up. We're ready to go. Good flaking to go. meaning that the fish is. Fish is cooked. You nice hear that bubble cooked. going on? Wait, let me get a quick. Oh! Y'all see that bubble though? Hey! So bubble. I didn't turn these actually. So. Bubble, yeah, la bubble. And you see what I mean about my cracker right here? It's soaked, but it's not. You see, there's still some crispy parts there, but there's parts that's soaked in the bubbling that's transpiring. Bubble, bubble, yeah, la bubble. Bubble, <laughs> yeah, la bubble. You don't need a glove, bro? Nah. Alright. Man up real quick. Alright. So the true test is when we let mom and dad taste it to see how they feel about it because they will be honest. That's one thing. It will let you know. So first off, mom, dad, how's it looking? It, look, it looks like the real stuff. It does, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Very, it looks very good. It does, okay. Looking at it, you can tell it wasn't Mario who did it. Okay, so it passed the eye test. The eye test. The eye test, it passed, good. Okay. Now yeah. for the taste test. Nice, well done. Nicely done, soft. Now it's very, it's very good. Yeah? It's very good. Is it tasty? It's, yep. The only thing it left off is the scotch bonnet pepper. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, we could taste the difference. That's why we had to grow our own scotch yep. bonnet. But yeah. in the meantime... We did it, Kate. We you did sure it. did, Kate. <laughs> you did it. You did it. We did it. So Easy. now, he's retired. Yeah. Daddy retired from making fish. He's retired. Yeah. Like, it's, it's I mean, I don't, I don't, no, no, I wouldn't say all that, Tris. No, no, no. It's still, it's still, still dad can still, right? It's still, <laughs> <laughs> we'll still let Dad make it. But what we'll do is we'll do an updated batch of this when the Scotch bonnets grow in because we plant. We're about to plant some, so you know. So we let y'all. Hey. Time to go eat. Hey. Okay, you ready? Oh, hey, sis. Oh, so Zakari's taking the different approach, like she said, guys. It's, it's supposed it's, to spring its own water and see, juice. See, there you go. So you just dip it and, she's and scoop it. And eat it. <laughs> dip and scoop and eat mm -hmm. with the water crackers. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Tristan, what is the key sign of a good meal? Oh, when your nose starts running. When your nose starts yeah. to run. Yep. Mom knows that. I already yeah. heard her sniffing oh, over yeah. there. He's famous for that. Yep. If, if my nose ain't running, it's not good. <laughs> it's, not good. <laughs> it's like a dead giveaway. <laughs> Yo, there's nothing there. Nothing. I think I ate the bones too. I think you did too. Because where they at? So it looks like we did it, y'all. Dad approved. Mom approved. Based on Tristan's nose running while he ate, he approved. Come on, Safari. What happened, it Tris? Was, it was great. It was good? It was great. It was what great. are you doing there? Wiping your nose? Yeah. Why? How come? Because my nose runs when food is delicious. 
Oh, poor thing. It didn't even stand a chance. Look at that. And it's safe to say that Dad can pass the torch now and just hold his drink as per usual. I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with my siblings. I know we didn't have very specific measurements and whatnot because in the islands, we don't cook like that. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So you get the general gist of it. Go ahead, experiment in the kitchen, get your hands dirty, massage the meat, and let me know what else you want to see me cook. Maybe some more with Cindy dishes? Yo, shut up, Deval. I saw the ball in this dress!